Hey, my name's Harold Daigle. It's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> you are curious of where I think the world is going, especially Nova Scotia. Believe it or not, we're going in the right direction. Do you know what's going to do that first? Communication. I'm a tad bit intimidated by your camera. <laughs> not that. <laughs> I'm shy of cameras. It's just I hate directing my conversation in something that small. If I had known, I would have brought you a decent camera. <laughs> and we could have set it here and enjoyed the conversation. <laughs> this is kind of a mini one. Yep. Um, Excuse me. Have to edit that out? Mm -hmm. You can edit, edit this out, I trust. Mm -hmm. All right. My belief is, and I really believe this, just take last Sunday evening at 9.30 in the evening, the President of the United States said he's going to make a statement at 10.30, an hour later. Within that hour, two-thirds of the world were aware that the President of the United States was going to make a, a statement. That alone is what's going to save this country, every other country, because your generation can communicate with each other, and it doesn't get lost in the transaction. What I mean is, when I was, as I grew up, uh, I'm over 60. If I told you a story, just in general conversation, like we're having now. The time that story went from Glace Bay to Sydney, which is only 12 miles, it wouldn't be the same story. So the time it reached Halifax, a month later, I wouldn't recognize the story, even though I started it. So the time it was heard around the world, nothing would be there, and there'd be people would exaggerate it so much in so many directions that would lose its meaning. And each person that interpreted, interpreted it would add their twist on it. So it may have started out as, my God, what a beautiful house you have. And the time somebody else hears it says, well, Harold thought it was beautiful, but I don't know. By the look on his face, I think he was lying, you know. So the time it gets around the world, it says, my God, didn't Harold hate that house? You can tell by the look on his face. So it would lose everything. But because of our communication skills that we've generated now, there's a lady here who wants to talk to you with your sandwich. <laughs>